Everyone's experience of menopause is so different, and that's why it's so important to find out as much as you possibly can. I didn't really have classic menopausal symptoms at first. I suppose I was perimenopausal for a while without knowing it. I didn't even know there was a thing called perimenopause. The kind of uh, bombshell moment happened when I was chatting to uh, Mariella Frostrop and she had been through the menopause. And welcome to the midpoint, my guest today. And she started talking about the symptoms that can, can kind of creep up on you. Higher levels of anxiety, confidence kind of affected in the way that it might not have been before. And I was listening to her talk about these symptoms and thinking, hang on a minute, these, I recognize some of these. So I started reading a lot more about the symptoms and couldn't believe how many, over 30 things that are commonly associated with the menopause. And I could tick off quite a few of them. Brain fog, that was another thing, which again, I was thinking, my capacity's full, my brain's got enough in it now and I can't get anything new in and I'm not recalling things in quite the same way. It was a concern to me that, what if I can't do uh, live sports broadcasting anymore? Feeling like you've got to be on it and when you're doing live sport, be really sharp. Once I'd, I found out that brain fog was part of a, a, a long list of symptoms for the menopause, then I made the decision to start using um, bioidentical hormones, HRT as it's known, which isn't for everybody, but within a matter of weeks, I started to feel a lot more like me. And also once you start to be proactive about something in your health, I think you're then so much more mindful about things and you're, you're investing yourself, aren't you? You're seeing, you're telling yourself that you're worth this and it's worth keeping your health in tip top condition. I feel like I've made such good changes to my lifestyle with regard to training and all those things. It's really important to keep strength training. That's one of the most important things through midlife because I want my body to be functional. I do two, probably two sessions a week of, of weights and resistance training and, and then the Pilates. It's almost like prehab, an athlete would say. So you're not waiting for an operation to rehab. You're actually building the muscles that you need before that thing deteriorates. Thinking about your body as this whole piece to rebalance, connect and work well together. I did um, an interview, a bill had gone through Parliament to help um, bring the price of HRT down and to make it more accessible for women. And some hours later, Kenny had gone to watch a rugby match in Wales and he sat down and these two blokes looked at him and they said, oh, we saw your wife on the telly this morning. Do you believe in the menopause? And <laughs> Um, like it was a unicorn that had kind of, you know, just rode into town. And he went, yeah, I, I do believe in it, yeah. And then he ended up having this 20 minute conversation with them about why it's important to have these conversations with your wife and your understanding of her and what she's going through. And he said, look, I just want my wife and I to have a, as good a relationship as possible and understand what's going on. And I said, you know, if one of those blokes has another conversation with another bloke, that's how it all kind of spreads. And by the end of it, I think they believed in the menopause. So that's good. <laughs> It did get called the change, didn't it? But the change was said in a way that was like, the change. And that change can be good. I think, as in anything in life, the more you know ahead of something, the more prepared you can be. We need to do more as we get older, not less, because we want to keep going um, and keep that, those energy levels high. And I'm going to kick on into my 50s. It's going to be better than my 40s. And it's not the closing down of chapters. It's the opening up of, of new horizons and new opportunities. So yeah, let's make it the change.